9th module of SQL learning series and in this video we will discuss about the simple recovery model. In the simple recovery model after each database backup the database is exposed to potential work loss if a disaster were to occur. Like we have the backup at 6 am this is the full backup and the next backup we took at 9 am. Now from 6 to 8.59 if the disaster occur we don't have the way to recover this data we will lost all this data because this is the simple recovery model in simple simple recovery model until the next backup there is the chance if the disaster occur we will lose all data in the simple recovery model the data is still written into the transaction log but when the transaction is completed and transaction has been written to the data file the space that was used in the transaction log file is now reusable by the new transaction so this this space is reused therefore there is no ability to do a point in time recovery backup to understand this scenario we have to go to the sql server architecture and from there we will have the clear understanding how the simple recovery model is working so let's move to the SQL Server architecture and in the SQL Server architecture this is the client part which will send the request to the server and in the server this request will be handled by the protocol layer protocol layer will accept this request through TDS packets the client send the request that insert into trading db.hr.country table select CID CNAME from other db.country so client want to insert one value into the country table by taking this value from other database. This request will go to the protocol layer through TDS packet and this then this uh, packets will send by the protocol layer to the CDM parser and CDM parser CDM parser when receive the data from the protocol layer it will check the semantic syntax in this uh, request and will make the curatory and then it, it CDM parser will send this to the optimizer and optimizer will optimize the query plan and then it will send this to the query executor and the query executor with the help of storage engine will execute this query and the, the in the storage engine the access method will check the select part of this query which came from the client. The select part access method will send to the buffer manager to check either the data which client requested is already in the plan cache. This data select ID and C name from the DB country this buffer manager will see into the plan cache the data is already there or not no the data is not in the plan cache then what the buffer manager will do it will create an input output for the this database file which is on the our disk so buffer manager will issue the input output it will go to take the data from the data file and after taking this data it will come back to the buffer manager and buffer manager will keep the copy in the plan cache and now the uh, time to insert the data into the country table it will the, go to the transaction manager transaction is started by the transaction manager uh, for this uh, request to insert uh, into the country table and the, when this transaction is completed the transaction manager will write this transaction into the log file so this transaction now is written in the log file this is the log file architecture the transaction is written here in the log file now the because this is the uh, simple recovery model so when the checkpoint look here the checkpoint is issued by this engine then the data will be returned to the database file note down the transaction which is completed first written to the log file when the this engine will issue the checkpoint then this data which is in the plain plan cache which is known as a dirty pages is written to the data file 
so here the check command is issued by the engine and this data is cleared from here and it is written into the database file when the data it's written into the database file because this is the simple recovery model so after the data is written in the mdf file it will be cleared from the transaction log because data is cleared from the transaction log now this space can be used for other transaction so there is no point in time recovery in this simple recovery model then why we are using this simple recovery model if the organization data is not critical and can easily be recreated then the we can go to this recovery model and data is static and no does not change also we are choosing is losing any or all the transactions since the last backup is not a problem then in these scenarios we can go to the simple recovery model because in this simple recovery model the size of the log is very small and this model supports the full backup differential backup and file log file level backups so now to understand the simple recovery model again the this is the backup where we took at the 6 am and then we took that 9 am then there is the full backup at 11 am then there is the differential backup at 2 pm then we have the backup at 5 pm this is the full backup and before taking the next backup unfortunately at 7 pm the system crash occurred there is a disaster now the data entered from 5 until 7 it will not be available we have lost all this data we have to recreate this data because this is a simple recovery model so data is point in time data recovery is not possible when we choose this model for our database we can go into the sql server management studio here we have the option to change through the query analyzer uh, first we need to check what is the model for our database right now we we will issue this command because our uh, example database name is trading db we will check what is the supporting model for this database it's a full recovery model to change it to the simple this is the command we will change the from full to simple by issuing this command so now the command is successful if we need to check what is the right now the recovery model we can issue this command again right now this is the simple recovery model so we can change through the query analyzer and also we can change through this graphical interface right click on the uh, required database and go into the properties and in the properties we have to go into the options and in the options this is the place where we can change the recovery model so we can select any one of these recovery model but we cannot select at the same time more than one recovery model 